charging the capacitor now we will talk about the steps in charging a capacitor so for illustration purposes let's think about a parallel plate capacitor which is initially uncharged so q plus and q minus are zero so this capacitor gets connected uh, to the terminals of a battery so one side is connected to the positive terminal one side is connected to the negative terminal so what happens in this case is that because this metal plate is a source of mobile electrons we will see that this positive potential will call these electrons towards the positive terminal so we will have a net electron motion from the uh, from this plate towards the positive terminal so you can see here and what happens is that <clears throat> these electrons will leave behind uncompensated ions. So there will be a positive charge building up here. <clears throat> Remember that the negative charge is mobile. The electrons are mobile because in a metal we have uh, mobile electrons, free electrons that can move around. These electrons are not uh, attached to the um, atoms they are valence electrons that have been released to the lattice and so they leave behind a positive charge at the same time when this switch is also closed we also will see electrons will go from the negatively uh, negative sign terminal uh, towards the plate uh, on the other side because these positive charges will build a positive potential at the location of the uh, second plate so we will see that there will be a net electron motion from the negative terminal towards the uh, second plate uh, because of the potential created by this uh, this side so we will see that electrons will be moving towards this side so when will this process uh, end when the potential difference between these two plates is equal to the potential difference between the terminals of the battery the process will end and that will be when the charge total charge developed on the left side is plus q the total charge developed on the right side is minus q so we have equal and opposite signs of charges and we have conservation of charges because we didn't remove charges from this system of the battery and the two plates we must have total charge uh, equal to uh, zero so that's basically uh, what happens here plus q and minus q should add up to uh, zero okay so initially q plus and q minus is zero the switch is closed the battery is connected plus and minus terminals create an electric field on the conducting wires so you can see that uh, well one other way to see this is because this is connected with a conductor to this battery this becomes an equipotential surface so this becomes equal to uh, plus v uh, the potential here is plus v and the potential here is minus v so we will uh, or the potential difference between the two will be v so this will be plus potential this will be minus potential uh, so we will have this potential difference creating an electric field between the plates uh, and um, as a result uh, the electric field created on the wire causes the motion of the electrons and when the motion of the electrons uh, is finished uh, so we have the equilibrium situation these two plates are at the same potential as the potential of the battery so this potential difference delta v is equal to the potential difference between the terminals of the battery so electrons are accelerated towards the positively uh, charged positive sign terminal and away from the negative sign terminal q plus becomes plus q q minus becomes minus q uh, the delta q uh, that develops between the two plates is basically q plus or minus q minus the equilibrium is reached when plus q cancels out the electric field from the battery plus q and minus q cancels out the electric field from the battery okay and the delta v between the plates must be equal to the potential difference between the plates now uh, we know that this is a capacitor and the amount of charge that we can 
uh, store on these plates is proportional to the potential difference between these plates where the proportionality constant is capacitance if we double the potential difference between the plates the delta q will be doubled so this will become uh, 2q this will become minus 2q etc okay so in summary we talked about how we charge a capacitor we start with the uncharged situation we connect the capacitor plates to a battery and close the switch and when this switch is closed the mobile electrons from one side move towards the positive terminal Mo the mobile electrons move from the negative terminal towards the other plate we have plus q and minus q developing between these two plates until the potential difference between the plates equal to the potential difference between the terminals of the battery.